Hey, hey, it's Aram here. It's been a while since I've done a video series to show people how to build an email list using System.io. And I wanted to do an updated tutorial for 2025. It's gonna be a video series. It's gonna walk you through how to set up a landing page, thank you page, lead magnet, add a tag, trigger the email to send the lead magnet, all that good stuff. And as a gift for the new year, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. I will include the free template for this particular list building funnel. So you can actually download it straight into your account with one click at the end of this video as well. So I will show you how to build it so that we know how to customize the free template I'm giving you, but you should know that you are getting it all for free. So you don't have to start from scratch. So the link is going to be below with the free template. With that said, let me go ahead and share my screen. We'll start with video number one, get started and we'll take you through step by step all the way until you can start building your emails for free using system IO. Enjoy. So the lead magnet is actually done and you can see it right here. Now I want to give this lead magnet to people for free and I'm going to set up the entire process from A to Z to be able to do that. So the first step is to go to system.io and we're going to click on create. Then I'm going to choose the funnel domain, which in this case is members.contrips.com. I've already connected this domain. Now I'm going label the funnel and it's going to be affiliate program setup funnel and i'm going to click in my case custom because i like to start from scratch currency is going to be us dollars you can obviously make it whatever currency you want it to be click on save now the funnel has been successfully created so now the funnel is created and i'm going to click into it you will see that there are no pages so i'm going to click on add step and then i'm going to Call this opt-in page and then I'm going to choose squeeze page. Now with the name, you want to give it a name that also reflects what this is. So in my case, I'm just going to say opt-in affiliate program setup. I'm going to click on save. Now you have a lot of different options in terms of what to use for a squeeze page. Now, in my case, I truly like to just start from scratch and you can obviously browse through and choose something that you like. In my case, I just prefer to start from scratch. That's just how I like to do things. So I'm going to choose this one just for demonstration purposes. Then I always like to label my URLs correctly. So this is the URL path and I want this to reflect, especially with opt-in pages where it's a visible page. I want to make it so it's affiliate program setup guide, like so. Now I'm going to click on edit page. Now that we have the page, I'm going to delete everything that is in here because I like to start from scratch. So I'm just deleting everything over, over the green thing. Click on OK. If you click on section and then also delete from this side, either one works, doesn't really matter which way. Click here, delete, click here, delete, click here, delete, and click here and delete. And then I'm going to also delete this thing right here. I kind of like having the logo. That's also something you can do. So that's okay. If you want to have your logo, then you can do that. In my case, I already have one like so. So I can click and do something like that. Now to make it smaller on the image size, I'm going to make this 150 like so, and this will work just fine. Now I need this to also open in a new tab. So I will change the open URL. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find .com trips .com, click on enter, and I will make the logo so it opens in a new tab. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this thing right here, this and this and this. Now, to be honest, I can kind of work with this image, even though it's it's not it's not always the case. But in this case, I, I don't really mind this image. It kind of makes sense with affiliate funnel. So I'm going to now go to the lead magnet, and you notice this is affiliate program in checklist. So I'm going to take this label, like this one, affiliate program setup in system IO. You're gonna go back here, free guide. Now I'm going to put another text headline under it and I'll call this set up your affiliate program in system.io. I'm going to delete what's here. Now I can 
change the text here. Make this zero, make this zero. The bullets. That was the video tutorials. Okay, really simple. I kind of like this color to be honest. I think it's kind of cool. So I'm going to actually use the same green like that. And then the bullets, I'm going to make it so it is not so much on the left. I will make it so it's vertical spacing of 20. I will make the icon a bit bigger, the text a bit bigger. Now that I've done all of these steps, I'm also going to go to fix the font so it's consistent across the entire page. I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to choose Mozart in my case, just for demonstration purposes. And this will be medium. Then for the heading typography, I'm going to use Mozart again, but I'm going to make it so it's bold, like so. Now this button is going to be the same as Mozart, like so. And instead of arrange MIDI, I'm going to say download the free guide and then we'll do a little check like so and we'll make a shadow out of that movement of hover we'll make it zoom make it three so now you can see that it will hover and become this color which is kind of cool now I like this color that was chosen so I'm going to click here click here copy this color hex and I'm going to make sure that this icon is the same there you go that's good now on the button I'm also going to give it a little bit of a spacing and I'm going to make it to its center so good very happy with that launch our affiliate system I am little touch of emojis like that and that looks good make this a little bit smaller even doesn't have to be so big. Now you will notice that there is a pop up and we have to change that again. So let's make this a little bit bigger, like so. We're going to, you know, this is good, submit. Check. Zoom on the hover. Now in hover, you see what it does. That looks good. Let's make this 500. No, 700 is good. Let's have a look at the background color, see if you like it this way. Mm. It's in a placeholder color, placeholder background color, white. That's okay, I don't like that. This one just needs to be black or green or something. Okay, and now I think that this logo thing is actually not relevant. Do something like this, simple. You always want to put the footer, so I'm going to go to my blocks. And the footer needs to have privacy policy, cookie policy, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go to blocks, search for the word footer. I already have a footer that's previously created, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Let's look on mobile, see what it looks like. Amazing. It's a little bit smaller. This is a little bit smaller. That looks good. And free guide, make some spacing on the top as well. Give some spacing on the top, like so. You can see this mobile stuff here, so I'm just going to delete what was here. I can make this one way smaller. Absolutely no need for this to be this big, like so. On the menu, you will see the way it opens, it will go like that, so that's good. Everything is already linked. That's good. So that's all done and it's all built. Happy with that. You can also do something like this, make the center, and we can put the text background like so. That's okay too. 
Another option is to put it inside a row, put this text inside, and put the background color like so. The reason you want to do that is because I can make it a little bit more spaced out like so, basically. And I can make it more rounded, with some solid text. I think that looks pretty cool. I like that. It's not really my brain colors, but I'm just doing a demonstration here. I don't really care if it works. I would make this bottom way bigger so people don't get distracted by this stuff. And on this row, or on this text, I can even make it so it will open the pop-up, even if somebody gets confused and clicks on that anyway. So that's cool as well. Now, of course, I will change the color so it's still black or white. Yeah, that's better. So even if they click this, it will still open a pop-up. If they click the image, it will open the pop-up as well. So that's important for the user experience. It doesn't matter what they click, it's always going to open the pop-up. It doesn't matter where, what they click. I'll show you what I mean. So now that I've done all that, I'm going to check down this text to the right. Now when I preview this page, I'll show you what happens. I'm going to delete the preview. Here it is. They can click this, it will open up. If you click this, it will open up. If you click this, it will open up. If you click here. It doesn't matter what they click, it's going to open up. Now I gotta fix this, so this also opens. Basically, no matter where they click on the page, they're gonna have the pop-up up here. I can make this center too. Now it's refresh. Beautiful. Okay, I'm happy with that. On the pop-ups, what you want to do also is see how you've got all this stuff in here. That's cool. I'm going to now select a content box, put everything inside the content box. I'm going to click in here, click on off, and go and delete this. So the border is zero. Now it looks exactly the same to the naked eye. However, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the content box, click on save, and I'm going to click green content box for exit pop-up. So we have program setup, and I'm going to set up what's called an exit pop-up. So there are two different pop-ups in here. Second pop-up is going to be, I'm going to now delete everything that's here. I'm going to go to blocks, my blocks, drag this in here, change this color, open on exit intent, don't open automatically, show the close button, the close button needs to be black, and the background color needs to be something else like that or like that that's okay and i'm just going to say don't leave empty handed like so make it a lot bigger launch your filter of this free guide you can make the top the bottom honey like so and on the background color I can make it like that, for example. Okay, that looks good. Now, I'm going to refresh this page, and here's what's going to happen. If they click here, this will pop up that into the email address. If they click here, same thing. If they click the image, same thing. If they click here, same thing. If they try to leave, notice my mouse is going to scroll up out of the page, then this is going to pop up. Okay. Now, I think it's not as a, um, attention grabbing as I'd like it to be, so I'm going to change it to this, and I'm going to change the color of this to this. Now, let's try it again. There we go. Much better. Now, I'm going to change this text as well. I leave, this is going to pop up. Okay, I'm happy with that. And with that, we now have an opt-in page. Now, there's a few things that we need to make sure are done correctly. So first of all, the pop-up is done. The first pop-up, the button needs to go to the next step. So that's all done. And also with pop-up number two, the button needs to say, go to the next step. Submit form, go to the next step. That's what you want to say. And then notice that when you look here, you see the word opt-in, you don't want that, that's, that's not something you want. So to do, fix that, you go to Editor, click on Settings, 
This is called asset SEO settings. So you're going to change that to free guide. So you always, for opt-in pages, you always want to choose view content. That's in case you are doing affiliate, uh, if you're doing paid advertising, you always want to choose that. So don't worry about why, it's a totally different tutorial. So don't worry about why, that's a totally different explainer. What's important is you choose the view content for squeeze pages, and you don't want to hide it from search engines. Now, social image, what you can do is you can actually go to your lead magnet, go here or here, for example. You can actually do something like this. Go back to the editor, click on social image. I'm just doing a demo, so I'll upload this image for now. See how it says opt-in? If I refresh this, it will say now free guy. Much better. Okay, so now the editing is done. We actually have a landing page which is complete and ready to be shared. Now that you've seen the process of creating a landing page, an opt-in page, the next video I'm going to show you how to create a tag so you can tag the person that just subscribed. Now, you don't have to rebuild anything below this video. You're going to see the template that you can install with one click for this exact landing page we just built. All you gotta do is click that shareable link, one click, it will be in your system.io account and you'll be able to customize it. So check the link below and move on to the next video where I'll show you the tagging process next. <laughs>